Welcome Brainers! In this video, I'm going to show you how to get rid of the iCloud storage full issue. As a first step, we should identify the true space eating items. Please go to your device settings and select your name at the top of the screen. Click on iCloud and then Manage Storage. The root causes could broadly be classified as photos, backups, and iCloud Drive. Before I tell you how to address each of these, one thing you have to understand, Apple gives you 5GB of iCloud storage free of cost. This 5GB is shared across all your Apple devices and applications. Even if you just use your iPhone, this limit can easily run out in a matter of a few months. You know what? This is an optional feature, with a lot more commercial aspects attached to it. Probably you might be already having enough space in your phone's internal storage. For some reason, if you still want to use cloud storage for your photos and documents, you can consider switching to Google Photos and Google Drive, which gives you 15 gigabytes of free storage. In addition, Google Photos enables you to perform periodic space cleanups by quickly locating large videos and photos, a much-needed feature that is not available in Apple Photos. In the later part of this video, I'll tell you how to switch to these Google apps on your iPhone. Let's get back to the potential root causes. If photos are taking up a lot of your iCloud space, ideally, you would need to open the Photos app and delete the unwanted videos and photos. Unfortunately, sorting by size is not provided here, again for commercial reasons. So, you need to manually find the large files, maybe with video length. And ensure to delete all from recently deleted. But let me be frank with you, even after you do all these, this did not work well for many users. So, here are some alternative ways to address this. Please install Google Photos from the App Store. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the initial setup. The syncing process will take some time, based on your internet connection. Please connect your phone to a charger so the process is unaffected by battery optimization. Once backup is complete, quickly check that all the photos and videos are available at Google Photos. Instead of Google Photos, you can even download all iCloud photos and videos to your computer. If you are interested on it, just go to iCloud.com slash photos. Select one file and press Ctrl A to select all photos. And download them to your PC. Now on this screen where we left some time back, please select Photos. Tap on Turn Off and Delete from iCloud. My photos and videos are already synced to Google Photos, on top of it I've also taken backup on my PC. So I'll go ahead and click Continue anyway. And another key thing to note here, this is not going to free up iCloud storage for next 30 days, but don't worry, I'll show you how to release it. Please open iCloud.com. Select one file and press Ctrl A to select all photos. And delete these files. Now go to Recently Deleted and clear it from there as well. If you just refresh this page, you should get rid of this error icon. The same should reflect on your iPhone as well. In some rare cases, you may need to restart your iPhone once. If backups are taking up a lot of your iCloud space, we all should accept the truth that we cannot back up the complete phone with just 5 gigabytes of cloud storage. So, you have to disable all unwanted apps from this backup to reduce the backup size. 
Alternatively, you can enable backup on your PC or Mac, and then completely disable iCloud backup. I've given this link in the description if you're interested in this. Let's continue to disable unwanted apps and reduce the backup size to acceptable levels. Once you've reduced the size, please delete and turn off backup. Sometimes you'll have backups of your old devices, remove them as well. With the reduced size you can now re-enable backup, especially if you've not backed up to your PC or Mac. Finally, if Documents is taking up a lot of your iCloud space, please open your Files app. Select iCloud Drive. Tap on this three dots menu. Ensure it is sorted by size and the arrow is downward facing. Now my large files are at the top. You can choose to delete them if you do not require them. Alternatively, you can install Google Drive from the App Store. After the initial setup, it'll be listed in your iPhone Files app as one of the locations. You can move these large files to Google Drive to free up space on your iCloud. Once moved, please ensure it's deleted from iCloud Drive. With all these I've drastically reduced my iCloud storage space and I no more get iCloud storage full errors. I hope it was helpful. Please do like the video and subscribe to our channel. If you've any questions or thoughts, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another helpful video.